Hey everybody. In case you can't tell, I am sick. That's why my voice sounds a little weird, but um, I just wanted to go ahead and film. So this will be the plan with me for the week of March 13th through the 19th. And I am using this Pink Diamond Planner Co. Uh, February Mystery Kit from this year. It's called Self Care Sleepover. So I'll go ahead and show you the kit minus the labels that I pulled. And I did decide to nix one of the colors in the kit um, and switch it out for green. So we'll see how that looks, but I think it's more what I wanted. So, um, And then it's got this matte silver foil that came with it uh, that I'm going to go ahead and use as well. So I will go ahead and get right into the plans. I was just stressing myself out because um, I'm not used to doing this since I have skipped a couple weeks. So I'll go ahead and start the sidebar. So this script for March is from Mick Plans, which if you don't know, I do PR for. Uh, so if you want to get a discount, you can use the code Laurel20 for a 20% off discount or put my name in the notes if there is a sale going on. And then this was week of St. Patrick's Day. So the Happy St. Patty's Day script and the Little Pig are also from McPlants. And then I just put this little cup because it matched the kit and a little quote it says, let your mind grow from Carly Plans as well. So let's go ahead and get into the day by day. All right, so first thing on Monday is I woke up and I was just kind of achy. Um, not like sickness or anything like that, just kind of, um, just kind of my chronic health stuff was acting up a little bit. So I kind of had a chill morning I filled my pills, 
like I do every Monday. Um, I watched the new episode of School Spirits because I had forgotten it came out. And then um, I did film a haul clip. So um, I'm just kind of filming haul clips as I go because I really don't like waiting on using my stickers. So, <laughs> um, so it's going to be a little chopped up, but hopefully it'll be cohesive enough. So for feeling achy, I have this little munchkin from Once More With Love and achy AF script from Carly Plans. And then for filling my pills, I have this pill bottle and fill pills script from Carly Plans. For school spirits, I have this little backpack from Carly Plans. Um, and then I am waiting on some school spirits scripts, so I'm going to put that on later. And for filming, I have the this camera and film script from Carly Plans. So the next thing I did on Monday was watch SWAT. Um, so I'm kind of on and off watching that, um, just kind of in between other TV shows. Uh, then I organized stickers for quite a while. Um, I had dinner with my husband, um, which we had like different, um, we had like different foods cause we, we got Factor, um, which Lynn had recommended to me, Lynn from Linder Designs. Um, we've been liking it. It's a little expensive, but it's basically like pre-made meals, so you don't have to cook them at all. Uh, you just pop it in the microwave or oven, and it's ready to go really quickly. So, super convenient. Uh, so, we, we had dinner together and watched... TV. Um, then I watched the Sex Lives of College Girls, which is a really, really good, really funny show if you haven't seen it. Um, so for watching SWAT, I have this custom script from Carly Plans and the Pig TV from Mick Plans. And for organizing stickers, I have this uh, sticker. I have the sticker stickers from Carly Plans, and then this organized sticker script is from Mick Plans. And for eating dinner, my dinner was like a chili, uh, like a vegan chili, which is really good. Um, so that icon is from Carly Plans, and then the script with my love is from Leonard Designs which I do PR for Linear Designs. My code is Laurel15 for 15% off, or you can put my name in the notes if she is doing a sale as well. Um, and then for Sex Lives of College Girls, that is a custom script from Carly Plans, and then the TV is from there as well. So on Tuesday, um, the first thing was my dogs were just being really, really needy. Um, mainly just the puppy Link. He is just, I mean, he's, he's eight months old, so he's just needy for attention. And I don't know, he wanted to go outside like three times that morning. Like he didn't have to go to the bathroom that many times, but I never want to like not take him seriously because he is a puppy and I just don't want to like deal with accidents. So yeah, so I dealt with him. And then I was in a lot of pain that day. Um, so I did have a gummy for my pain, which is what I marked next. And then I believe this day I finished watching the Sex Lives of College Girls. So for Link, my puppy being dramatic, I have the little dog sticker from McPlans and then a Link custom and a drama custom from Carly Plans, um, which I got those drama customs like specifically for my dogs because they're just a lot. Uh, they're, they're corgis, so they just get crazy. And then for being in so much pain, I have that emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. 
and so much pain custom from carly plans she does have one in shop that says like in pain but when i got that she didn't um so that little leaf is also from carly plans and then gummy is a custom from her as well and then for sex lives of college girls this TV, and then the custom script again are from Kylie Plans. <clears throat> so next, I decided to re-watch Lock and Key because I had started watching it. Um, I had watched the first season, and then the second season came out, and... I don't know. I just didn't watch it. And, and then I discovered there was a third season too. So I was like, okay, let me just rewatch it completely because it had been so long since the first season came out. And it's not like I have a lot of like activities in my days. So yeah. So I did that. I started that. Um, and then next I marked Too Lazy to Cook, which really just means we had factor, but... Um, I just don't have like a script to mark that with and I don't want to write it in. Um, then I was planning. Oh my God. Sorry, I cannot place these labels properly. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> um, so then I was planning and then um, I was texting Carly after that, which I. I mean, I text her pretty much every day, but I just, I don't know, if we're having a long conversation or if I haven't done a lot in that day, I will mark it. So for lock and key, I have this little TV from McPlans and the lock and key custom from Carly Plans, which is super crooked, but whatever. Um, I have this little bowl of um, food from Carly Plans and the Too Lazy to Cook script from her as well. And for planning, I have this planning script from Leonard Designs and open planner from Carly Plans. And then for texting Carly, I have this cell phone and Carly custom script from Carly Plans. So on Wednesday, I woke up and just kind of watched YouTube while I was drinking my morning tea. So I got ready, got him, um, was like walking out the door and my husband was saying bye to me and my check engine light had recently come on. So I, you know, I'm like, bye, love you. And he was like, Love you too. Just make sure you don't break the car. You know, just joking. Guess what? My car didn't start. So I was irritated, you know, because my car didn't start. But I was also like, seriously, you freaking jinxed it. So yeah, that wasn't a fun start. Um, luckily, he has a car and I was able to use that. And I still haven't like figured out what's wrong with my car. I haven't taken it in, but whatever. Uh, so for the YouTube binge, I have that little Play Heart and YouTube binge script from Carly Plans. And then for my car not starting, I have this little car pig from Mick Plans and a middle finger sticker from Carly Plans because that was kind of how I was feeling about my car. And what I was doing was I was going to pick up a prescription. So... Um, those pills, the cloud pills, are an older sticker from Carly Plans, and then the pickup prescription is a script from Planahanna. And then I filmed my plan with me after that when I got home. So the film plan with me script and the camera are from Carly Plans. And after I filmed my plan with me, I went ahead and just edited it right away because I wanted to upload it. And then I had a game night with um, with Beth, Lynn, and Carly. Sorry, my brain is kind of like slow right now because <laughs> I'm sick. Um, 
So we had a game night, we played Crazy Eights, and then we just kind of like texted a lot after that. Um, and then I finished the night by watching more Lock and Key. So for editing, I have this little computer pig from McPlans and an edit script from Carly Plans. And then for game night, I have this little eggplant sticker from One More With Love and a game night script from Carly Plans. For texting, I have this cell phone from Carly Plans and a With The Girls custom from Mick Plans. And then for watching Lock and Key, I have this TV and script from Carly Plans. So that's it for the first half of my week. And on Thursday, I started my day by running some errands. So I couldn't mark them all in or I just, I guess I just really didn't want to. But uh, I left the house to pick up wristbands for Comic-Con because I was going on Saturday with my brother and I wanted to go ahead and just get those ahead of time so we could just walk on in. After that, I, um, still just part of my running errands, I got Starbucks, I grabbed lunch. Um, and then the next thing I marked is that I got my allergy shots which I get those once a month. Um, I, for a while there, I had to get them like every week and then every other week and now I'm down to once a month. So hopefully I'll be done with those soon. But seeing as I live with two long haired dogs that shed a lot and one of my allergies is dogs, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, then after that, I was texting my brother, just kind of talking some logistics and things about him coming to visit. So for running errands, I have that old car from Carly Plans and then a run errands script from her as well. And for my allergy shots, I have this shot uh, it was a custom, but the shop is no longer open. And for texting my brother, I have this cell phone from Carly Plans and a with bro script from Plana Hannah. And after that, when I got home, my husband had gotten a new desk for his gaming computer, like a standing desk. So I helped him build that. Definitely didn't do most of it, but I did help him out a little bit, handing him stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. So for helping my husband build the desk, uh, that little hammer pig is from McPlans. And the next thing I did was watch more Lock and Key, just kind of binging it at this point. Um, I had fallen asleep through a few episodes the night before, so I had to do some rewatching also. Let me know if you do that too, because some nights I can't sleep and then other nights I'll be watching TV like blasting loud and I just conk out. So I don't know. Uh, then after that, I watched Kim's Convenience with my husband uh, while we were eating dinner. I was in a lot of pain again and then uh, Taylor Swift came out with some new songs, so I was listening to those a couple times before I went to bed. So for marking lock and key, I have this little um, heart lock from Carly Plants and a script from her as well. Uh, for Kim's Convenience, I have this TV and custom script from Carly Plans. For Being in Pain, I have this little munchkin from Once More With Love and the So Much Pain script from Carly Plans again. 
And then for listening to Taylor Swift, I have this pig with AirPods and a Taylor Swift custom from Carly Plans. So on Friday, I woke up in pain again. This was just a rough week for my pain. Um, so I was getting a little concerned because Saturday, you know, I was supposed to be going to Comic-Con, which it requires a lot of walking. Um, and I'm not super active on a regular basis, so I was a bit concerned that that wasn't going to go well. But I'll get to that. <laughs> So next thing I had was therapy, and then I did the dishes, and we got a grocery delivery. My brother was going to arrive this day, so I was just trying to kind of get the house in order for him. So for in being in pain, I have this little spoony unicorn from Fox and Cactus and an in pain script from Carly Plans. For therapy, I have this crying munchkin from Once More With Love and a therapy script from McPlans. For doing the dishes, uh, this dishes sticker as well as the script are from Carly Plans. And then for my grocery delivery, that uh, little basket icon is from Carly Plans, and the grocery delivery script is from McPlans. So next on Friday, I did some more cleaning. Uh, if you watched last week's Plan With Me or the week prior to this, I guess. It wasn't posted last week. Uh, I did a ton of cleaning before my in-laws came, so it wasn't like a huge job at this point. It was just kind of spot cleaning and and uh, tidying up the clutter that we had accumulated because the dogs are a mess. So then my brother got here, which I was super excited about, and then we took him out to Joe's KC barbecue for dinner, which was good. I hadn't been there in a while. So for marking cleaning, I have this script from Planta Hannah and the little pig with the spray bottle from McPlans. For my brother getting here, I have this little Yay Maru from Paper and Milk. For getting barbecue, I have this little barbecue sticker from Carly Plans and a With Bro sticker from Planta Hannah. I believe Carly is about to just come out with the barbecue stickers again because it's kind of a seasonal thing. And then we watched the Weird Al movie that's like a Roku original with Daniel Radcliffe. It was super funny. So for marking that, I've got that Crying Laughing Munchkin from Once More Love and the Movie Night script from Leonard Designs. All right, and Saturday was the day of Comic-Con. So I woke up really anxious just because I knew it was gonna be a big crowd. I was gonna have to drive us downtown. Um, I did get us prepaid parking in a parking garage, so that was at least a nice thing because I can't parallel park even though I live in a city. So, so you know, I had an anxiety attack. Um, but we made it there, everything was all good. Um, made it to the garage after getting turned around a little bit, mainly just because there was so much traffic for Comic-Con. Um, and then first thing when we got there was we got some comics signed. Um, my brother had some specific people he wanted them signed by and then I had one as well. Um, I love Jessica Jones and the person who did cover art for Jessica Jones was there so I met him and he was super nice and got my got my uh, comic signed um, and then we went to some panels after that so for the anxiety attack I've got that anxiety munchkin from once more with love and the anxiety attack um, I believe that's a custom from Carly Plans 
And then for signings, I have this journaling icon from Carly Plans. And then our first panels we went to were Star Trek panels. So sorry if you're not a Star Trek fan, um, but I am going to talk about it a little bit. So the little stars are from Carly Plans. I don't remember what sheet. I think it was just like deco on a sheet. And then that's a um, like a little hard eyes emoji from Paper and Milk. So for the Star Trek panels, um, we got to see William Shatner, which was fine. Um, I've seen him, like I think this was the third time I saw him. We weren't super excited to see him, not because we don't like him, but just, you know, we've seen him before, and um, he's like 91, so his stories are very long-winded. Um, however, there was another Star Trek person that was going to be in the same room directly after, and since that's pretty much the same demographic, we had a feeling that people weren't going to leave, which we were right, because that's happened to us before. Um, one year we went to Comic-Con and we wanted to see Sean Astin, um, like from Lord of the Rings. And we tried to go and we couldn't get in because there was a Doctor Who related panel directly after, I think it was Matt Smith. And there were so many Doctor Who fans in there, they were just completely at capacity. So we didn't get to see him, which that sucks. But we learned our lesson to kind of play him. So, um, so other than William Shatner, we got to see uh, Jonathan Frakes, which was super fun. Um, he was Commander Riker on The Next Generation. And he's also actually directed a lot of Star Trek since then. So... That was really fun. And Brent Spiner, who plays Data, also on The Next Generation, was only having a panel on Friday, and we weren't going on Friday, so we were super bummed. But he actually came out during Jonathan Frakes' uh, panel for just a little bit. They sang together. They sang show tunes together, which was super cool. And... Um, yeah, and then he left, and then, uh, Frakes talked more, but that's all I'm going to say about the Star Trek panel. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a giant nerd. Um, then the next panel after that, which was conveniently in the same room, was Final Fantasy voice actors. So, Final Fantasy VII, uh, vo the voice actors for Sephiroth, Cloud, and... Oh, I can't. Tifa. <laughs> Tifa. So, um, even if you don't know anything about Final Fantasy, Rachel Lee Cook is the voice actor for Tifa. So, you probably know who she is if you've watched She's All That, He's All That, um, uh, Josie and the Pussycats. That's where I know her from the most. <laughs> but that was really cool. Um, she's also like a guest star as... Uh, one of Spencer Reed's girlfriends in Criminal Minds. So, yeah, love her. So, we got to see them. And then um, the guy who does Sephiroth is also Charlie in Scandal, if you've ever watched Scandal. So, that was interesting. Somebody did ask a question about Scandal, but um, his answers weren't the most coherent because he said he was like really drunk so that was interesting okay so <laughs> rambles done about all that so for the next thing we did after all the panels was we went shopping so there's a lot of you know just like art of different fandoms like marvel dc horror all sorts of things so we went shopping. I bought some more wall art, which is what I usually do. And then I got a Scream t-shirt as well. I know, so surprising. Uh, so the shopping script is from Leonard Designs and the little bag is from Carly Plans. Then we went to a horror panel, which is like about the history of horror. I won't go into that too much because I, I've 
talked a lot already <laughs> and my voice is tired, but it was super fun for me. Um, I was wearing a ghost face t-shirt, earrings, and had my ghost face purse. So when one of the moderators said that Scream 1996 was his favorite horror movie, I got really excited because same. So, um, so that was pretty much the end of our day. My brother got like one more signing and then we left. So <clears throat> that is from One's More Love. That's from the Coffee Monsters Co. Hot Mess Express is from Carly Plans. That's from One's More Love. Uh, the Scream is a custom from Carly Plans. And then with Bro is from Planahanna. So I am almost done talking about Saturday. So the Hot Mess Express was... I am extremely directionally challenged and I got us from the parking garage to the convention center, like where we needed to go, because you literally walked directly out of the parking garage into the building. We just had to do some like maneuvering because there was a basketball tournament as well, but got that all down. Couldn't get us back. Um, we ended up having to go outside and walk. It was 27. My brother and I didn't bring our coats because we were so close to our car in the parking garage. We're like, well, we don't need it. Yeah, it was 27 and windy as hell. So, you know, we went outside, we got turned around, went to the wrong parking garage. Um, I couldn't breathe because I have asthma and it, when the air gets too cold, if I'm not wearing a face mask, I literally cannot breathe. So we had to go inside to warm up and I had to take my inhaler and like breathe. Uh, then we went back outside and then just walked the few blocks to get to the parking garage. So that was quite an adventure. <laughs> and then once we got back home, my brother had not seen Scream 5, which is just called Scream. And so I was begging him to watch it with me. So we did, and he really liked it. So I was very pleased with that. And that is all I will say about Saturday, unless you have questions. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a super fun day. I had not gone to Comic-Con since 2019. <laughs> I know I said that was all I was going to say, um, but I hadn't been since 2019 because of the pandemic, and so it was really cool to get to go again. Okay, now I'm really going to talk about Sunday. So Sunday, I woke up and my period had started, so kind of explained why like my chronic pain had been acting up, and then had breakfast and just kind of hung out with my brother. Then he left. So, of course, I was sad about that. Uh, so, for my period starting, I've got these little undies sticker from Carly Plans, as well as the started period script. And then for breakfast with my brother, uh, my husband was there too. I just, you know, he, he's always there, so I didn't specifically mark his name. Um, I marked Brother Time, which is from Planet Hannah, and then the little plate is an old old sticker from Carly Plans. So for my brother leaving, I have the Crying Heart from Carly Plans. And next, I watched Kim's Convenience and cuddled with my husband because we hadn't spent a lot of time together since he didn't go to Comic-Con. So the cuddle script is from Planna Hannah and then the knee couple hugging is from Leonard Designs. And after that, I worked on completing some, like, medical forms. I'm going to see the same surgeon that did my endometriosis excision to get a hysterectomy since I also have adenomyosis, I believe is how you pronounce it. But I might be wrong. <laughs> um, it's, simil it's a similar disease but it is like within the actual uterus so I need a hysterectomy uh, but that will actually cure it so I'm looking forward to that 
So I had to fill out like 40 pages, like not exaggerating, 40 pages of forms because my surgeon is at a different practice now. So I have to like send him all my medical records of like the surgery he did. And yeah, it's a whole thing, <laughs> but um, it's worth it because it's really hard to find good doctors. So for completing forms, that script is from Carly Plans and then the Munchkin is from Once More With Love. For watching Lock and Key, which is what I did next, the Pig TV is from McPlans and the script is from Carly Plans. As well as the planner is from Carly Plans. And that planning time script is from Mick Plans. And then I ended the night by uh, watching School Spirits. So for watching School Spirits, I have that TV icon from Carly Plans and I'm gonna put the script in later. So I will go ahead and fill in everything I'm gonna write in off camera and then I will show you the whole spread. All right, thank you so much for watching. This is my spread in full. I'm not gonna do a wiggle because it's matte and you can't really tell, but uh, like if you like this video, feel free to comment and subscribe if you have not already. Bye.